the friends <coughs> in the previous session we have gone through inductors capacitors and series combination of inductors and capacitors now in this session maybe a couple of sessions from now we will do some simple numericals on the concepts that on what we have learned till now all right so in this uh, <coughs> lecture we will be dealing with these equations with capacitors so we have already learned that ic is equal to c dvc by dt and vc at t is equal to 1 by c integral ic t dt plus the voltage before t all right that means you are starting at t0 and you are ending at t1 right so this voltage also has an influence at the voltage at t1 all right so we will do some problems based on these two equations so this is the problem this is the current ICT given in milliamperes and the time is in milliseconds and this current <coughs> which is shown in this graph is passing through the capacitor of 5 microfarads and you have to find what is the voltage that means you have to find the graph as well as the values now these types of questions let me tell you are a favorite among uh, interviews people who attend ISR or interview or BRC interview or ECL or NPCL the people who are going to ask questions especially in controls and networks they love these types of questions so make sure that you understand the concept which I am going to tell very uh, patiently and uh, make sure that you understand it all right now clearly <coughs> this graph has a few segments right there is a segment from minus 1 to 0 all right okay so let us take that area first at that area the ICT is equal to 0 all right that means there are no initial conditions that means at from let me take point zero to be our condition at this point from infinity let me take from infinity so from minus infinity to zero there are there is no current all right so there is no current means what is the value of vct so vct is equal to 1 by c integral 0 dt plus vc at t0 now because there are no initial conditions before zero this value itself will be equal to 0 therefore vc of t will be equal to 0 at what range minus infinity less than t less than 0 now let us see the second interval the second interval you can clearly see is this area right from 0 to 2 so it is rising from here to 20 coming here to 2 and it is coming to 0 so let us take from 0 less than t less than 2 and what is the vc of t value so it will be 1 by c integral i dt plus any initial voltage but that is not there therefore this value is 0 because vct is 0 in the previous case right so now what is the equation of i of t here so i of t here will be equal to 20 right it is a constant value the graph shows a value of 20 so it vc of t will be equal to 20 uh, wait one second it is 1 by 5 microfarad so i will convert it into farads so you make sure that you convert everything into the SI units, right? So integral 0 to t, 20 into 10 power minus 3, all right, dt, okay? So what do you get here? You get, <coughs> if you solve this properly, you will get around uh, 4000 t, and this equation of Vc of t is valid from 0 less than t less than 2, okay? Why? Because after 2, the equation is again changing, okay? So at t equal to 2, vc of t vc of 2 will be equal to 8000 it is milliseconds into 10 power minus 3 is equal to 8 volts all right okay now let us take the third case now uh, i think space is ultimately anyway let us take the third case here okay the third case is from uh, greater than 2 right so t greater than 2 okay in t greater than 2 vc of t will be equal to 1 by c integral uh, t is greater than so 2 to infinity and what is i value there the i value is 0 from 2 to 4 the i value is 0 so 0 dt but you have to put a plus here why because you have to put the initial condition the initial condition here is 8 volt because before it that before the time 2 the value was 8 volts right the value was 8 volts here you have got the value to be 8 volts so it will be plus 8 so vc of t will be equal to 8 volts and this is valid from uh, t greater than 2 okay so let us draw the graph here okay i am drawing the graph okay so you start at this point initially you are having zero value 
this is vc of t you are having zero value then you can see that you are having a slope of 4000 okay that is because uh, the this is in volts and this is in millisecond that is why you get a big value so this is one this is two this is three and this is four milliseconds at two the value is equal to eight volts right and because you are having the ramp characteristic the graph will look something like this okay and this value will be eight volts okay. and after eight volts t greater than two the eight volts stays okay so this is the graph of vc of t now in case you are having any doubt you can just find the slope of this thing and see so what is the slope of this particular curve 8 divided by 2 into 10 power minus 3 because 2 is in milliseconds right so this will be 4000 so this 4000 and this 4000 are the exact same value all right so i hope you have understood this problem and let us do one more problem to understand the concept more clearly all right now let us take the second problem here now in this problem what they have given is the value of v of t and you have to found the value of ic of t so clearly you know that ic of t is equal to c dvc by dt now in this problem also you are having multiple portions so let us take divide it into two section three sections so this will be my number one section because till here the value is zero and this will be second section and beyond this will be the third section all right so let's take the first section here okay the first section tells me what is the time it is from minus infinity less than t less than one okay so what is the value of vc of t here so vct value is equal to zero all right that means there is no initial conditions so ic of t will also be equal to zero okay because if you put zero here the entire thing will become equal to zero now let us take the next section which is this section from one to two okay the next change is from one to two and beyond two you are having third change so that will be the third section let us take the section from 1 to 2. So it will be 1 less than t less than 2. Alright. So here we have to find the value of vc of t. And once you find the value of vc of t, ic of t will be c dvc of t by dt. So you have to find the equation of this, this line equation you have to find. Now basically I will just use a trick which I have learned. So this is a ramp equation, right? So it will have a form of y is equal to mx plus t. So in this case, y is v of t and m i don't know what it is but t is in milliseconds so it is t plus t okay and v is in volts and you have to remember that this t also should be in seconds but in the question it is given in milliseconds so you have to convert it into seconds all right so this v of t will be equal to the slope here will be equal to 2 divided by 1 okay it is 2 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 1 so you must make sure that while writing the slope the milliseconds get converted into seconds that is very important so you put 2 minus 0 divided by 1 into 10 power minus 3t if you don't do this you will get a wrong answer so v of t here will be equal to 2000 t plus t all right okay so you have got this equation here now let us see at 2 millisecond what is the value of uh, now this is not the equation right this is not the equation the equation is not over now at 2 milli at uh, sorry 1 millisecond at 1 millisecond what is the value of v it is 0 so let me put that here at t is equal to 1 millisecond v of t equal to 0 okay so 0 is equal to 200 2000 okay and 1 millisecond so i have to multiply it by 10 power minus 3 plus c okay so c i will get to be equal to <coughs> what is the value of c the value of c here will be equal to minus 2 okay so what do i get v of t is equal to 2000 t okay minus 2 2000 t minus 2 so if i substitute that here ic will be equal to this is 100 picofarads right so 10 power minus 12 into d by dt of 2000 t minus 2 okay so what do i get here the derivative of this will be equal to 100 10 power minus 12 into 2000 2000 so 
what do I get? This will be 200 nanoamps. So this will be 200 nanoamps. Now, let us take the third case that is beyond the two seconds. Okay, so the third case, I'll put it here, is T greater than two. When T is greater than two, what is the value of IC, uh, VC? It is equal to two. It is a constant value. Therefore, IC of T is C derivative of two, right? And that will be equal to zero. So if I draw the graph, how it will look? Let us put the graph here now. Okay. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Okay. Now, from minus infinity to one, the value is zero. The value is zero. Okay. Now, <coughs> from one to two, the value is 200 nano amperes. So it is like this. 200 nano amperes from 1 to 2 and beyond 2 the value again comes to 0. So it again comes to 0. So it comes like this. So this is basically the graph. So usually in signals and systems we never put this value uh, continuously but it is engineering circuit analysis right. So I am just going to complete it. Okay. So this is the graph that you get. Okay. So this is the solution of the problem. I hope you have understood this problem. If you have not got confused, I hope. Now this method which I have used here, you can also use this method and it works all the time. Next uh, lecture we will be doing problems on inductors. In there I will do more problems about this graph. And uh, please like, share and subscribe this video. And I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.